Filipino is the fourth largest tech hub in the world, but you wouldn't know that unless you're from here, like me. I sat down with Shahar's Bay. He's the founder of Hacker Nest, and he tells me three quirky innovations coming out from my hometown. So Shahar, tell me about the Toronto tech scene. There are some ridiculously smart kids coming out of some ridiculously smart schools in the city. Next generation technologies that you do not see in stores and you, that you do not see in people's hands. We call it the VI. And what it is, it's a virtual instrument. Depending on how far away their hand is from the sensor over here, it'll detect which note should be played. And we have three sensors placed to measure which bow that the user is trying to play. And from that, we adjust an audio file. We manipulate it to be different pitches. Our device is called Glove Runner. Uh, it's basically a glove with flex sensors in each of your, your five fingers, uh, which basically carries the information to a computer. The biggest thing is working out the noise, uh, trying to figure out where the correct trigger points are within each hand. Once we get that done, one of the applications could be, for example, like a sign language controller. I'm not very good aiming. Oh, I'm dead. What the T-shirt does is that it basically displays the battery level of your smartphone, um, your heartbeat, and uh, also the compass. So right now this is the battery level on it, so 38, so that's if up below 40, it'll, it won't go past the first line. Mm -hmm. um, if we go up higher, it'll eventually go up to 100%. Okay. Uh, we also have the compass here that's okay. being read off your phone, so I'm going to just rotate the phone until it's about North. Where do you see Toronto in the next five years for the tech scene? Uh, the proliferation of tech centers, hubs, and incubators like this Ryerson Digital Media Zone, the space that we're in right now, um, is creating an unprecedented level of connectivity between entrepreneurs and technologists. It's going to be great. So basically, Toronto, five years, jetpacks and hovercrafts everywhere.